Carrie, this, this program has gone two and two and four straight regionals, and we've talked about this. You, you've been right there. You've had, you know, sort of had a chance. Uh, what, is, what do you have to do as a program to finally break through? you got to win the first game, you know, and, and, and that's no guarantee, but it, it just makes it a much, uh, a much easier path. You know, and that's the bottom line. You you really need to to win that, and um, we'll do everything we can to uh, to work towards that. Gary, when uh, Barrett hit the ball up the middle, did you think that was a single right away? And I guess what I'm asking is, uh, it seems like Louisville's outfielders can really cover a lot of ground. Uh, well, so can Austin Cousineau. Um I thought Cole got a good jump on it. Uh, he, he's very good in center field. Um, but no, Jerry, I guess I didn't. I, 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 I didn't think automatically, no. I thought it would be tough. I thought it would be close. I was obviously hoping it would get down. But uh, um, he caught it. Jerry, what was the explanation you were given on, on why Thomas got ejected? And oh, he ran, he ran into him. I didn't get an explanation. I knew what that was. Yeah, he just, that was a collision. You got some frustration boiling over there. I, know I didn't know. ask him about that. Um, we, I haven't talked to him about that, Kyle. So. Well, I don't think that's a lack of respect. It, you know, it might, it might be heightened respect. Um, you know, there's a lot on the line. Um, you know, I, I, you can ask Dan here in a few minutes what, what, what he thinks, but I, we certainly have a lot of respect for Louisville. And, um, you know, they play hard and they're well coached and, um, you know, obviously very worthy opponent, you know. Do all these delays you guys went through with weather and you way down on concentration at all? Or is I don't think so. You know, I, it, um, you know I, it's the same thing we talked about, I think, last night or two nights ago, whenever it was. Um, no, I, I don't attribute anything. And that's just the way it goes. That's our sport. And, and I really, truly believe it's part of our culture. It, it just happens. Um, certain parts of the country more than others. Certain times of the year more than others, but if you if you can't withstand that, then then you need to go do something else. Gary, how much of a lift did uh, Logan give you guys? You know, going deep in the game and keeping you right up. Well, that was tremendous, Jerry. I I, I really did. I mean, that's six innings against uh, uh, a really good opponent. You know, five hits, and uh, he undersold his secondary stuff a little bit. It wasn't great, but it's much better than it was six weeks ago. Uh, I mean, he got strikeouts on uh, change-ups. Um, he, he threw the ball off the plate to induce the double play when, when we were trying to do that. I mean, he, he made pitches. And uh, um, I was really proud of him. I mean, I mean, he hadn't done anything like that this year. And to be able to do it against um, a club like Louisville is significant. And that's going to help him. That will help him this summer. Um, he'll draw upon that. Um, next fall and you you know in athletics you you have to do it you can talk all you want about practice and the skills are getting better and and all those things but you've got to do it in in, in a competitive environment and then even more more significantly if you do it in, in a hostile environment or in a, a, a sense of heightened awareness you know i mean you, you live in life out there on the mound at night you know at a pretty good level if you're him you know, and, and for him to be able to execute those skills and repeat the delivery the way he did, um, 95 pitches worth, you know, I was, I was very impressed and happy for him and uh, good for our club. And um, uh, that's going to propel him. You can be able to draw upon that just like oh, you guys all do in your own lives. You know, the successes that you've had, they, and you draw upon those. And uh, he's going to be able to do that. So I was really happy for him. What did you expect to get out of him? Any, uh, you know, Kyle, I'm not sure I expected anything. I know what I was hoping for, you know, and I'm, I was hoping for three clean. And, and if we could get that, then then I felt like we could go, you know, uh, two, two, and two with with another couple of or three guys. And, you know, I, I but to to get six of one run and 
and hold them to four on the night, um, you know, with where we were on game four, I, I think I probably would have signed that deal going into it. Well, <clears throat> there's really two parts of, of that that I thought. I thought Josh did a really nice job with his changeup and, and, and the slider or curveball, whatever they call it. It's, it's his breaking ball. I thought he did a really nice job of throwing those down. Um, the slider's got a little bit more life on it than I remember. Um, the change is solid. I thought he did a really nice job. He doubled up a few times. Um, but I thought he did a very nice job. And, and I think A.J. was was right and we had to, you know we didn't hit a lot of balls hard but the ones that we did they we hit it at them you know and it doesn't take very many of those balls to fall in you know to cre create a completely different scenario but it didn't happen tonight so what that means is we needed to hit more balls hard you know and we just didn't do it yeah with the performances of zach and, and logan this weekend how, how much hope does that give you moving forward well i i it gives you hope but i i didn't i didn't need that to, to see or you know to make my vision for those kids any more clear i mean i'm pretty i pretty good idea where they're going at least in my mind uh it's more significant for them i think john and so we don't have to wait you know until that getting over the hump in the summer or next March, you know, when the SEC starts, you know, because that's a different beast in those first four weeks or whatever it is. You know, when you pitch well in a, in a regional, that, that sticks with you, you know, and so for, for that. But um, I have a high opinion of those two kids, both as people and as pitchers and potential, and so um, they're going to be good. Gary, how do you sum up A.J. Reed's career? Well, <clears throat> I've really enjoyed him. Um, a lot for a lot of different reasons. Um, anytime you work with kids that are smart and have a sense of humor and, and are accountable and responsible for what they do and they do a good job in the classroom and, you know, he's got a, a self-deprecating side about him. Um, you know, he, he's a fun kid to be around, you know, and, and he is a kid that is willing to listen to your thoughts, your ideas, your demands whatever it may be at, at that point in time, and, and he makes the, uh, he just does what you ask him to do consistently, and he's the beneficiary of that. One more question yeah. for Coach. Cole Sturgeon got named MVP. What did you see from him? Oh, Cole's a good player. I, I, didn't, I, I, I don't know the numbers or anything like that, but Cole's a very good player, two-way player, has had a great career. Um, we spent time on him in high school. He's a good family, great kid, works hard. You know, he's gotten better every year. That part's really clear. I'm sure he's one of their team leaders. You know, hats off to Cole. He's, he's a good one. If I could piggyback off that, he made the running catch on the warning track and the sliding catch with a double play. How, how big a momentum deals with those two? I, I, and I. The balls didn't fall. I mean, I, I, I don't have a good answer. There any of the, the line drive that A.J. hit, you know, we needed something to fall, and they didn't fall to this, you know, tonight. So right, we said, you. all right, thank you.